All right, we'll ask everybody if, to uh, line up for Trent as well in the chat, and we'll try to get as many as we can. He, he won't have a statement, can obviously, so we'll just go right to questions from you. We didn't, we didn't have Coach do a statement either, so. Wow. Yeah, I got lucky. All right, Trent, we're going to go ahead and just go right into questions here, and um, it's moving along here pretty quickly here. Let me see if I can, uh, where I've got the start in. So we'll go Brandon Simberg to start off, and, and then Austin from Philadelphia. Go ahead, Brandon. Trent, since the Big Ten tournament concluded on Sunday, what have you been up to in the NCAA tournament bubble? What's that been like? Um, obviously, with a uh, you know long, exciting week you know, in the Big Ten tournament, three games, two days. Um, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of guys just been recovering, eating, resting, you know, just preparing um, ourselves for uh, you know the next step. Um, um, just you know, a lot just preparing mentally. You know, I think this this whole thing is you know all about all uh, mental. Um, you just gotta you know figure out ways to stay focused, you know, with days, you know, with long days, not doing anything in the room. So, you know, we've kind of created, you know, a different, you know, different environment within, you know, the hotel um, and our break in our rooms, you know, spike ball, we got basketball hoops, we throw the football around. So just staying, you know, active at, as much as we can, instead of being up in the room all day. Um, but, you know, everyone's loving it. We're enjoying it. We're having fun. Um, you know, this is a super exciting time. And, you know, we're just really excited, you know, for Friday. Who are some of the standouts at Spike Ball so far? Uh, me and Jake, we're, we're just a dynamic duo. Uh, I don't think no one can beat us. So we've been having a lot of fun with that, you know. We're really competitive in Spike Ball. But, yeah, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a mental thing, you know. Um, you know, just to be able to come in here um and just you know be around our guys every day and have fun you know in different activities it, it's fun um like i said everyone's loving it we're really enjoying it and we're just having a great time thanks Trent. No okay we'll go to austin and then uh, nico on deck hey trent i don't know how much film you guys have watched on drexel but they have a guy in cam winter a very dynamic guard i don't know how much you've seen of him but if you have kind of Detail to me what you've seen from him on film. Oh, uh, we should have started watching film today. Um, we only know, you know, a little bit about him. Um, obviously, you know, we're preparing for that the next two days leading up to game day. But um, obviously, like you said, um, really great guard. You know, he can shoot the basketball. Um, really good in ball screens. Um, you know, that's, you know, that's going to be a, a good challenge for us. You know, obviously, being used to playing Big Ten teams, you know, this is going to be something totally different. So. Um, like I said, this is all about, you know, mental focus, uh, being able to, you know, um, translate from Big Ten to, you know, a different conference, a different basketball team. But, you know, you can't go in. We, we, we got to go in there with the same mindset like we're playing, you know, a Big Ten team. You know, this is a championship game. You know, every game is a championship game. So, um, like I said, you know, he's a great, you know, great guard. You know, he's very, very, very good. So we just, you know, we got to dial in, you know, with him and, you know, be ready, you know, to take that challenge. Does it feel good to not play a team from your conference? It feels like it's been forever since that happened. Um, I mean, we, we love we just love to play. Be able to we're, we're blessed to play a, a basketball game. Um, we'll be able to be we're happy to be here in March. Um, and like I said, um, it doesn't matter who it is. We're just gonna prep. We're gonna prep every day, and whoever's in front of us, that's our that's our challenge for that night. But like I said, um. It, it doesn't matter. We're excited right now. All the guys are happy, and we're enjoying this moment, you know, day by day. All right. Thanks, Trent. Take care. No problem. Okay, Nico, you're up. Alec on deck. Gabby in the hole. Trent, I noticed uh, the addition to your hat there. Is that kind of serving as some motivation for you as a reminder that you've got uh, one more title that you'd like to win this month? Yeah, for sure. This is four years worth of work, man. You know, this it has been a long journey, obviously, uh, but this is a special feeling. Um, you know, I don't think I've not worn this hat since Sunday. Um, like I said, it's just, it's been, it's just been special to be able to, you know, accomplish our goal, you know, from the, our goal that we had from the beginning of the season. But, you know, uh, in conclusion, you know, like I said to the other guy, it's, it's just so special right now. You know, we're enjoying this, you know, we're, we're happy to be here. We're taking it all in day by day. Um, it's just a fun time right now. 
And we're just very, very excited to be here and continue to play basketball. You've got a group of guys that have been building towards this point, but nobody who's ever actually gone through it. Have you noticed any kind of changes in demeanor or attitudes now that this is, you know, this point that you've been building towards has finally arrived? Uh, we have the same mindset, same focus. Um, we have the same attitude, um, obviously. Um, we got one goal down, and, you know, we have our, our next goal, and that's to win a national championship. So that's our focus right now, um, like I said. Um, every game we got to go into it as you know it's a one one game championship so you know at this point it's, it's win or go home and we know that um, this could be you know our last game and we're, we just got to be laser focused and continue to just prep and be mentally focused every day. Thanks, Trent. Hey Alec, Alec you're up and Gabby on deck. Hey Trent, kind of picking back you know, off of Nico's question there, you obviously haven't played in a tournament, neither is Demonte, but how important is that senior leadership from the two of you in the next couple of weeks, potentially, I guess, both on and off the court? Um, It's huge, you know, I, not even just from me and Monte, uh, it's from everyone, one through 15, every guy that's going to, you know, suit up and be on that court. Um, I think it's very important. We don't just get, you know, lackadaisical, you know, obviously winning a Big Ten championship, Um, you know, that, that was Sunday and we have a new, new goal and that's to win a national championship so we can't you know relax and you know get you know too excited uh but obviously you know you want to always take take everything in uh accomplishing our goals but we have you know a bigger goal now and that's you know our national championship goal so like i said uh it's not just me and monte being seniors it's one through 15 everyone everyone you know everyone got to stay ready everyone got to stay mentally focused and everyone has to step up, you know, when, when their jersey number is called. So, um, you know, we're preaching that heavily and, you know, we just got to be prepared, you know, to play um, a good basketball team on Friday. And then in terms of, I guess, the mental side of it or the film room side, when you're preparing for a team that you haven't seen all year and you haven't really prepared for all year, what kind of difficulties does that bring? Cause you're not going to see someone in all likelihood that you've played this year. Um, I don't think it brings difficulty. It's just, it's most, it's most definitely different, but um, we practice the same thing every day. We do the same, you know, thing every day, obviously schemes and, you know, reads are going to be different, but um, what we do is, you know, our, you know, our program where every day, every day guys, you know, what we do is going to be the same, you know, what we do defensively, our energy, our effort, um, that's never going to change. So um, like you said, obviously, you know, playing a different team, we've never seen before um, is going to be, you know, very different. But other than that, you know, we just got to come in with the same mindset, you know, like like this is a championship game. So we just got to do what we do, you know, the effort, playing hard, everything. That's that's what that's what's really going to take to, you know, to keep moving um, to the next round. Hey, Gabby, you're up. Scott Ritchie on deck. Hey, Trent, I've seen on social media so many other sports teams on campus, like showing their support for you guys. Like I know the baseball team had like a little video of them dunking on like a mini hoop. Like what does it mean just to see that support from people who I'm sure you know and are friends with? Um, It's special. Um, Obviously being here for four years to see how far we've come, Um, you know, to, to accomplish that is, is special. And to be a part of this program is is very special. So just seeing, you know, the community, you know, other athletic teams supporting us, Knowing they have our back is, you know, it's incredible to know, you know, everyone is, you know, has our back and, and is rooting for us. So, but like I said, just being here for four years and finally, you know, seeing and bringing the line basketball back to, you know, how we used to be, it's it's exciting. And I'm just very happy, you know, to be a part of this, this program. And then in just a couple of years, obviously you guys went from not even making the tournament to a number one seed. How does the team and, you know, yourself just stay balanced and keep a level head through all of the national attention and just the higher expectations now? Um, um, I think we see it as, you know, March Madness, you know, um, it's, it's a unique type of, you know, tournament. You see a lot of upsets every night. I don't think you should, you know, I don't think you can look at, you know, seed numbers when you're in this tournament because, you know, with so many different buzzer beaters, close games, you know, upsets, um, that's what it's all about. So I think you just got to go into – you know, the, the game, like, you know, it's a, it's a, another opponent up, up, you're playing up next and not look at what number there is because that, that's not going to matter. Um, coach has been preaching to us, you know, how good this basketball team is. And he believes they're not a 16 seed. They're, you know, they're lower than that. 
higher than that. And he believes that, you know, this team, you know, is very, very good. So uh, everyone's, you know, we, we are very, you know, focused and we realize, we know that um, we just got to continue to be dialed in and mentally prepare, you know, to not go out there and be, you know, I would say lackadaisical because they're 16 seed. Uh, we got to, you know, we have bigger goals and that's, to, you know, to, you know, win an national championship. So hey, we know it's going to be a dog fight and we just got to be ready for that. Thanks, Trent. Okay, Scott Ritchie and then uh, Will Graves. Go ahead, Scott. Trent, you mentioned you know, that hat and representing four years worth of work. Um, just have you had a chance to kind of reflect on maybe, you know, how far you've come, how far this program has come, you know, from maybe day one when you got here? Yeah, for sure. I reflect on it, you know, Sunday and Monday all day. You know, it was exciting, overwhelming, just, you know, of joy um, to see how far we've come obviously, but um, like I said, you know, that's that's past. I think I, my mind is right now is with my team um, as a collective and that's the national championship. Um, and that's, you know, Friday against Drexel, you know, so um, that's where my mindset is at right now. And we just got to, you know, prepare for that game. I mean, in this four year run, were there, was there ever a moment where you thought, you know, maybe it wouldn't come together like you wanted? Um. Not a chance. That's why I'm still here. Um, I believed in the coaching staff. I believe in Coach Underwood. Um, I knew, I knew, you know, what he he's done, you know, in his college career as a coach. You know, I've not, I've I've seen him. I've watched him uh, coach in the, in the Marsh Madness games. I've seen how good his teams were. Um, but like, like I said, um, that's why I'm still here. I, I believe in the whole entire coaching staff. I I believed in you know him changing this program around and getting it to where it needed to be. And he's done that. And I gotta say, I'm just very blessed to be a part of that. Thank you, Trent. Okay, Will Graves, you're up. Trent, you, you did just sort of uh, touch on um, what I was gonna ask you about, but I mean, when he came on board, I know you were familiar with him from the recruiting trail and stuff, but did he did he try to pitch you to stay? Was it a, like, did he have to talk you into it or sort of how did, that, how did that go? And then for somebody that's not familiar with the program, how would you describe the culture that you guys have built there? Um, obviously, obviously, uh, what coach, um, recruited me before, um, obviously when I was committed here with the other coaching staff, um, uh, when he, when there was a coaching change, um, I already, you know, had my decision. Um, and I know that with him coming on board, with him coming on board, uh, there was no change that I needed to, you know, do. So I wanted to be a part of his teams and I wanted to be a part of, you know, what he was all about. So. Um, but the coaching, you know, the culture we've uh, created here is is very different from, you know, three years ago. You know, we got everyone, you know, on board. Um, you know, it, it's it's just fun basketball. It's great. It, it's just, just the type of basketball that you want to be a part of, um, not even just on the court, off the court. You know, he's a family guy. He, he jokes around with all, every player. He's always having fun, and, and it's just special, you know, to be around the entire coaching staff. Okay, Jeremy Warner, you're up, and then Soupy on deck. Hey, Trent, I'm, I'm just wondering, you're talking about four years, four years to get on this NCAA tournament court. Like, what will your feelings be? Um, do you embrace kind of that nervousness, or, or do you just kind of – is it just another game? Um, I, I think it's just another game. Um, obviously, you know, um, I think it's not nervous, but I think it's, a, it's just very exciting. You know, you get these, you know, exciting butterflies in your stomach, like, wow, we're here. Like, and that's the biggest thing. You just got to take it all in day by day and look at the bigger picture. And that's just, you know, being able to be here where we're at right now, because we know well, last year what had happened when the season got taken away from us. So everyone's just taking it in day to day, you know, very excited to be here and, you know, to be, you know, in March Madness, because, you know, this, this is the best time of our lives right now. And we, you know, we're not going to take this for granted. Uh, we're just going to come in every day and, you know, ready to work. And, and I know uh, Andres, Kipper, some of your former teammates, whether it's Aaron, um, weren't able to play in an NCAA tournament, but I know they're watching. Um, what? How did they impact what you guys have now? They definitely they impacted it a lot. They were part of this team. They started with us last year, you know, when we went on our run. Um, that was that last year was special. Um, you know, the, I think the biggest thing is for us, you know, uh, continue to, to – you know, build off what we where we stopped off last year, and that's where where the season ended. Uh, we were hot. We had a great team, 
and it was special. So to continue to you know build off what we had last year to get to this point, uh, it, it's very exciting. So um, you know it's it's amazing to see them you know supporting us, continue to support us, having our back, you know, and still you know riding with us. Thanks, Trent. Okay, Supi, you're up. Brett Barron's on deck. Hey, Trent. Um, I heard one coach say that the, the team that handles this quarantine the best could be the team that, that wins it all. If that's the case, how important is it to keep a, a positive attitude with this? And is that something you guys have to work at or are you just guys just, just having fun? Uh, like I said, I think the biggest thing is with this right now is it's all mental, um, you know. We know, like I said, we got our season taken away from us last year. Um, and for us, one through 15, everybody on the board right now with us, we're not going to take this for granted. Uh, it don't matter. I think this is all mental. So, you know, everyone's, you know, having a great time for being around each other. We're just taking this all in day to day and just being happy we're here. Okay, we'll go to Brett and then Joey and then Shannon. Go ahead, Brett. I know you guys aren't like out and about a lot, but what kind of sense do you get in the vibe from Indy right now with the tournament getting ready to start here? Um, we it, this feeling is just March here. It's March Madness. I mean, everywhere you go, there's you know the big dance banners, you know March Madness banners. It's just it's the feeling you're getting right now is just the March Madness feeling. And it, like I said, I think the biggest thing for us right now is you know taking it all in day to day because our season got taken away from us last year. Uh, we know how important, you know, we have to handle COVID. Um, we know, we know how it is in quarantine because we've been doing that all season long. Um, so, I mean, the feeling right now we have is excitement. Um, we're, 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 we're super excited to be here. Um, I'm just happy to be here with my teammates, my coaching staff, you know, everyone that's here on board with us. It's, it's a very exciting time for us. How important was it today to just get into the Coliseum you're going to play in, just get a feeling for that a little bit? I know you guys didn't really have that going to Lucas Oil last week, right? What was that like today? Um, I think it was very cool, you know, a very cool experience, experience um, just experience, just being able to walk on a court that says March Madness. Uh, I thought that was very exciting because, you know, that's, that's what we've been working towards for four years um, and we're trying to get to and to finally see, you know, and being able to walk out on a court that says March Madness first round, uh, that is, it was special. You know, everyone had, you know, recording videos. It was, it, like I said, it was just very exciting. Um, it's a very fun time for us right now. And we are just super excited, you know, to get ready, you know, to, uh, to play basketball. Thanks. Okay, Joey Wagner, Shannon Ryan. Hey Trent, coach talked about, he wants you guys to appreciate all of the moments, you know, just beyond the games. I know it's only been a week and you've really not played a game and you've been in quarantine, but what moments have stuck out so far this week? Um, How close we've become to each other, you know, players, 115. I mean, we've bonded so well. Um, I think the biggest thing for us, like I said, um, just how mentally, you know, strong we are right now, um, you know, being able to overcome the COVID stuff, um, just being in quarantine all day, just not being around each other. And then, you know, uh, just, you know, having fun with each other, you know, we, when there's nothing to do, you know, just trying to figure out different activities we can, you know, interact with each other with. So um, these big moments is special. Um, everyone just taking it all in, you know, it's an exciting time, you know, to be able to be playing March Madness um, and continue to play basketball. And that's what it's all about. Like I said, our season got taken away from us last year. So, you know, to be where we're at today uh, and knowing we have a game on Friday, uh, that's that's exciting news for us. And we just, you know, we're just all taking it in day to day. In your first two years as a basketball college basketball player, if you didn't experience this last year, you should have and you didn't. What were the what did you dream of? What did you envision? when you were watching the tournament from home that it would be like, and how close is it to that vision? Um, it's just, it's, it's, it was exciting. You know, I always, that was my main goal. Um, I dreamed of that as a kid, you know, growing up, wanted to play college basketball, wanted to be a part of March Madness, just seeing, you know, how loud it gets in there, the buzzer beater moments, you know, the, the confetti moments, that was all, you know, special. And to, to, to see, you know, to walk out on the basketball court and, earlier today and see March Madness is like all my dreams come true. 
So, uh, like I said, we just, we're not going to take none of this for granted. We're going to enjoy every day that we can, as much as we can. Uh, we're going to take care of our, our COVID business, you know, handle that as much as we can um, so that it doesn't get stripped from us because we know what that felt like last year. So our main, you know, focus right now is to continue to, you know, stay mentally focused, you know, prepare for each, you know, each game, each day, and just take it all in and enjoy in this moment because, you know, this is the best time of our lives right now. Thanks, Trent. Appreciate it. Okay, hey, Shannon Ryan and then Nico on deck. Go ahead, Shannon. Okay, thanks, Trent. Um, Geo Baker got a hashtag going today, um, not NCAA property, kind of talking about the name, image, and likeness topic and, um, you know, some of the perceived unfairness um, as far as financial things between the NCAA and unpaid players. I'm just wondering, have you and your teammates talked about this and what, what do you make of it? Other, other tournament players have, um, you know, retweeted or tweeted and weighed on it too, some of them. Um, I don't think that's where my mind is right now. Um, I think our mind right now is on, you know, you know, playing basketball, blessed to be able to, you know, play basketball, wake up every day. You know, we have, um, a supportive staff, you know, amazing coaches. We have great food. We have everything. We have everything we need, you know, just blessed with the opportunity to be here. Um, and we're, that's where we're not going to take that for granted. I don't think, no guy on our team mindset is right now is focused on, you know, that what what else is going on on social media. We're just, you know, blessed with this opportunity to be a part of March Madness, to be where we're at right now and to continue to play basketball every day. Thank you. Okay, Nico with follow up. Grant, you talk about the, the moments that you guys have had in Indy. Coach Underwood said that after practice today, he told you guys that Io was named uh, Player of the Year by USA Today. Just what was that moment like for you, just seeing the work that he's put in and the relationship you guys have formed after uh, the season that he's had to earn that honor? Oh, it was stunning. You know, um, when Coach told us that, I was the first one to scream. You know, I was the first one to dap him up, you know, give him a hug because he deserved that. You know, I've been saying that since the beginning of the season. Truly believe he's the best. He's the best player in the country. You know he's he works so hard, and to see where he's come, you know, since you know he stepped on the court with me his first year is incredible. You know this 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 is a guy that that gets three workouts in a day. You know, um, you know works his butts off even when he's dead tired after practice. He continues to to get better. You know, push through it, push through anything, and you know to see you know all the special moments. You know all the you know the work he's put in is coming. You know to coming true from so um it's, it's very exciting news to be able to you know play in the backcourt with him because he's a special player and you know I, if there's anybody else I couldn't be you know any happy any prouder for him because he he uh he's deserved everything you know that's can't that's come his way this year thanks so much Trent all right Trent that'll wrap up uh, our press conference today thank you very much for your time thank you thank you everybody appreciate your uh attendance and participation today thanks everyone Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.